In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing off a brand new feature that's really cool. It's the ability for group organizers and moderators to send messages to all the members of their group from within the group. So if I go into BuddyBoss settings, groups, you'll see a new option, group messages. Allow group organizers and moderators to send group messages. So let's check that and save the settings. And now if I refresh this group, you'll see there's a new send messages tab. And also if I go into manage and go into settings, we have an option in each group to pick whether organizers or organizers and moderators can send group messages. So let's go into the send messages and show you what you can do. So from here, I have an interface to send a message and by default, all members are selected, so that means this is going to be a message delivered to all members of the group. And by default, it's gonna be a group thread, so that means everyone's included in the message. I could make it private reply, which means it's sent individually to each group member, but we'll start with the group thread. This is the default setup, and it creates a kind of group message, which you'll see. All right. And if you have your media options enabled for messages, like attaching a photo or a GIF or an emoji, all that will work in this just like the regular messenger. So let me go ahead and send the message. I can view the message. And here it is. So when we do a group message with everyone included, it creates this special kind of message thread that shows the group avatar and the name of the group and little icon identifying that this is a group message. And we get this yellow post showing everyone that this message was sent from the group itself. And the way that people interact with the message is within their, their messenger. So let me go log in as one of the members of the group. I'll pick Madeline, I know she's in this group. So she received the message. She can respond to it just like any other message. All right, let's go back. And we'll go back into our group. And I'll click send messages. And this time I'm going to message everyone, except I'm gonna make it a private message. All right, so this is gonna send a private message to everybody in the group. So here I can see all the group recipients. To each one, I sent them this message that shows that it comes from the group. These are some old ones from me testing from other groups. and they can go re respond. So from their perspective and my perspective, I still have a continuous single thread with each one of these members. And periodically within that thread, there might be a notice that's coming from a group that they can respond to. All right, let's go back into our group. We have some other options. I could not select all and I can pick individual members. So I'll say Charles and Jessica. And I can make it a group thread, which means they're both gonna be in the same thread or a private reply, which means they will both get individual messages. I'll make it a group one. So we can see this created a group conversation between myself, Charles, and Jessica with our notice that shows which group it came from. They can click that to get back to the group. Let me log in as Charles and see what he sees. So he got a notification about it. And it's part of our group thread. He 
can respond. We can go view as Jessica. So as you can see, the experience from the user's perspective is just that they log into their inbox and discuss with other people just like they normally do. They don't have to learn anything new. And periodically they'll get a message from a group that they're in. And the message has some information showing them what's going on. Whether it was sent to the people in this conversation or was sent to all the group members. For example, this one shows that it was sent from group nature lovers to all group members. So the users have a consistent experience and for the group organizers and moderators, it's very easy for them to just go in the group and send a message, pick who should receive it, and then they forget about it. It was really important to us when figuring out how we were going to do this, that we keep all the messages within this single threaded messenger experience. That way, when we extend this into a live chat later on, all the group messages will work and in a mobile app and all the other interfaces we plan on having messaging. Users don't have to keep bouncing around everywhere. They can have their live chat messenger and see all the messages and everything. It's just simple and consistent for everybody.